Emergence Day introduced humanity to a genocidal enemy, the Locust Horde. The Horde emerged from the Hollow and began the systematic extermination of the human race. Within the first 26 hours of Emergence Day, almost a quarter of human life on Serra was wiped out. Two months after E-Day, Richard Prescott assumes chairmanship of the COG due to the sudden death of the existing chairman. Prescott attempts to bring together the remaining nations of Serra to fight the Locust Horde. But with historic differences and their own agendas, Prescott is unable to form any sort of coalition. One year after E-Day, the COG are driven back to Ephira, a granite plateau safe from the Locust Tunnels. Prescott's military advisers warn the chairman they are a matter of weeks away from Ephira falling to the Locusts. In a bold move, Chairman Prescott authorised the use of the Hammer of Dawn on a global scale. After meeting with his cabinet, Prescott gives the population of Serra three days to evacuate to Ephira before it is closed off and fortified. Prescott knew most of the population would be unable to reach Ephira in time, but still, the hammer strikes went ahead as planned. They destroyed almost all human population centres, killing millions of innocent civilians in the process. Following these devastating attacks, Hoffman and Delta Squad searched the surrounding region for evidence of the Locust defeat.